guys, Tacoma Comics here. Been a while since I have done a haul video. Been a while since I've done any video that's not live. So I went and hit a couple stores today. Thought I'd show you what I got. So to start off, this is a Vampirella. And I believe it says Ascending Evil, number one of three. Um, not a big Vampirella fan, but I figured somebody would be. This is Morrison, Mark Millar. Uh, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. That's a kind of hit team there. I figured you can't go wrong. Next up, this is uh, 283. Everybody knows this one. Um, a lot of people say it's undervalued. Uh, I like Bishop as a character. Uh, I think he's kind of a cool, I don't know if Liefeld drew, drew him, but uh, kind of a, a cooler looking um, cable, kind of like that massive Character very similar, but a little bit cooler. Anyway, this is his first full appearance. First cameo is X-Men 282. This is X-Men 283. And then um, Amazing Spider-Man 282. Uh, I am one of the people that's collecting these now. Just kind of started off and found a few. And then like, hey, I found a few. Let's go get the rest of them. You know how collecting is. <laughs> you start with one and all of a sudden you're getting everything like that one. And you're kicking yourself like, what am I doing? So... Anyway, um, picked up another copy of this, uh, last name Shitty on the artist, and I'm not joking, S-C-H-I-T-T-I, -T -T -I. um, I forget the first name, but apparently becoming a, uh, somewhat sought after cover, um, at least Key Collector has it on its, uh, app, and I'm a big Miss Marvel fan, so, thought I'd get another one of those. Now, this is total silly speculation. I've passed this up in 50 cent bins a thousand times. I've had extra copies of it. I've given out extra free copies of it. Um, but this is now getting money, <laughs> or at least being listed for money. Maybe it's on eBay. I haven't checked. But this is the first appearance of the Mohawk on the cover. You heard that right. I'm not joking. This is the first appearance of the Mohawk on the cover. Picked that up for two bucks at half price. Uh, so Beauty Comics earlier today, and uh, Beauty Comics was talking about these Spider Verse uh, one shots, or I don't even know what they are. Not one shots, just um, variants. Uh, this one obviously is Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider Ham. I picked that up for two bucks, and then one dollar. I think this is the Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Um, sorry, three dollars. This is a variant. So those are Spider Verse, Amazing Spider Man number twelve and thirteen. Um, I thought those are kind of cool. I'm just completing my run on all new Wolverine. I think I missed this one. So my my local half price now is doing this thing where um, they've got such incredibly large stock that they're putting out stuff not bagged and boarded, but they're not putting the stickers on that say 50 cents or 25 cents. I try to avoid those. So if it's not in a bag or board, it is just half price of whatever the original price was. This is a $3.99, so it's a $2 comic basically. Um, same with this one. This one I got, uh, first appearance of the Ultimates as a team, Blue Marvel, America Chavez, Black Panther, um, Captain Marvel, and <laughs> my mind's going blank. Uh, is that Nick Fury? I can't remember. I think so. So anyway, um, grab myself that. Uh, let's see, I'll go through that whole batch there. Actually, I'll do it this way. So... A lot of news coming out about comics. I have not heard a lot about this, and I think more needs to be said on it. Um, Brian K. Vaughn just inked a in deal with a company to bring properties to development. Right? Now, we all know uh, why The Last Man is coming out. We know that he used to write on Lost. We know that his writing chops are just phenomenal. Um, we Stand on Guard is not one of his more popular comics. Um, it could just be it wasn't the best comic. It, I apparently here it's a war between the United States and Canada. I haven't read it, but you can find it in dollar bins and, and less. And uh, anything now, Brian K. Vaughan, I'm going to be looking out for just because he's got that deal going on. So I got that one for a dollar a couple days ago. And then today, um, found two and one and two again and three and four, and five, all for 50 cents. And I'd seen them before, sorry, and six. I've seen them before at Half Price Books and kind of glanced over them, said, you know, spend enough on Brian K. Vaughn stuff. Didn't feel like I needed that. And then I said, yeah, you never know. So I went and grabbed that. Um, all those for 50 cents can't hurt. And uh, it can't be a horrible story. It may not be Saga. Saga. But it can't be a horrible story, right? Because he writes pretty damn well. 
So uh, 52, week 9, first cameo of Kate Kane as Batwoman, right? 57 is the first Kate Kane. 9 is first cameo for his Batwoman, and then 11 is first Batwoman, if I have that correct. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Collective, I believe, as a team. And that's Omega, Weapon, something, blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to try to remember that. That's, uh, you know, that's a small spec book after the um, Avengers trailer dropped. Number 16, and then um, this is the first Illuminati. Got that for 50 cents. Um, this is pretty well known as, as, as a spec book pretty much already. I uh, still can't find my 27. I'm, I'm kicking myself if I sold all three of them. I swear I only sold two. <laughs> kept one. Uh, I just love this cover. Nothing special about this book. It's a Jorge Molina. He's going to be appearing at um, Emerald City Comic Con. I just thought it would be really cool to get... Uh, a nice another Molina cover that's not on the Avengers or that Miss Marvel that I'm after. And then, uh, speaking of Liefeld, there's a little X-Force action, X-Force 9. I think I've got like 1 through 11, but I was missing 9, so I figured I'd just, just grab that. Um, there you go. <laughs> hey, if you're a Liefeld fan, you know, go for it. But that art to me is just funny. Um, and maybe not in a good way. So let's see what else we got here. Gail Simone has a whole bunch of properties headed towards um, TV and or movies in production and or optioned. And Clean Room was one of them. And I actually really liked this comic. Um, I collected like one through five, I think. And then I just, it kind of dropped off. I just ran out of uh, money or patience or a little bit of all of the above. Uh, but then I saw these in 25 cent bins. So I grabbed four, five. Six. Oops, did I do that out of order? Four, six, <laughs> five, and seven. Figure for a buck for all four of those. I can't hurt. Um, I got these the other day, but these are two different covers in the same vein, so this kind of cracked me up. Um, the new Teen Titans. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Presented by the IBM Corporation in cooperation with the National Federation of Parents for Drug for Youth free youth and first ladies drug awareness campaign um yeah and this was uh the american soft drink industry presents dc comics the new teen titans in cooperation with the president's drug awareness campaign so this is just me going after my kitsch books i, I love these things that they crack me up um and so i'll grab those for 25 cents all day last two books here um this is a funny one i bought this for like a dollar at half price books uh, about a year ago and I was like why is this one so cheap and um, then I looked at it and the back of it was all super wavy and like just really bad condition so I was like oh geez so um, I got rid of that one and then this one was on sale at half price books you can see underneath this 50 cent sticker there's another sticker there this one had been in the bins for almost as long like almost since I bought the first one and it was going for I don't know like five dollars or something and just something I didn't want to pay just because I like the cover and there's a Wolverine cover uh, so I waited and waited and waited and this is a good lesson to you ladies and gentlemen wait and wait and wait stuff will come down man so 50 cent bin grabbed it up last one um, this one was all the talk you know image comics just gets oh hey <laughs> I didn't realize it was me in this video um, image comics like they put out so many great number ones and then like 90% of their series kind of fade after that initial rush. Um, this is supposed to be a really good first issue and so I picked it up for 50 cents. And that that's it for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. As always, leave a comment. Let me know if I screwed anything up because I probably did. Uh, <laughs> you can like if you want. I don't care if you subscribe. You know, Subscribers are cool, but um, watchers are cool too. Uh, and you guys uh, take care till next time. All right, so I thought I was done yesterday, but then I got to school today after being sick and uh, had a whole bunch of packages. So I was like, hey, I can do another video. So first of all, from my brother, JP, down there in Texas, apparently in the middle of nowhere, uh, all about comics. If you're looking him up on YouTube or Instagram, great guy, great uh, member of the community. He sent me a couple things. Apparently, I'd won one of them or asked for one of them. I don't know how I got them, um, but I got them, and I'm really grateful. 
Uh, this is Zombies vs. Cheerleaders Halloween Special from Albatross Comics. And this is drawn, uh, the cover is drawn by Jen Brumall. She can be found at Jen's Broom Closet on Instagram. She was on uh, Comics and Cold Ones, which is the show that JP does with the other brother, Sean Pope Grimy himself. So that is a pretty awesome book there. I'm pretty excited to have that. I haven't opened that up yet and just got home. Um, looks like a lot of zombies and cheerleaders and, uh, and violence. And yeah, you know, can't go wrong with that. Pretty cool. Um, moving on. Let me find a nice place to put this so I don't destroy it. And this is what I did win. Oh, there's a lot of glare there. Let's see if we can get rid of that glare somehow. Well, you're just going to have to deal with the glare. Um, <laughs> moving on, I won this Venom book. Uh, that's better. This is the official movie collectible, custom edition, exclusive, not for sale. I believe this was handed out with the movies. I won that on Comics and Cold Ones. Uh, so I got that book as well. So thank you very much, JP. Very cool. A couple books I got here. And then uh, on my way home today, actually, I stopped off at an LCS that I haven't been to in a while. It's just it's out of my way and I've been super busy. But I was managing to get... Oh, sorry. This is bothering me. I don't want you guys to see this glare. But I'm also too lazy to re-edit this. So... That's a little bit better. Um, got one of these variants in Grumble. So this is the 1,000 variant. There's also 300 variant. But what's cool about this is the serial number is still 00111, meaning this is first printing. They printed variants, but they didn't label them as variants, and they just distributed them totally randomly. So if you are in a shop and you see Grumble number one from Albatross Books, which is the company that Eric Powell started with uh, Goon and uh, Chimichanga and um, now Hillbilly. Uh, look for Grumble. Look for a word bubble. The word bubble coming from her, this is, there's a thousand of these out there. Um, the word bubble coming from the dog, there's only 300 of those. That's like the real one to get. But either way, man, this is freaking awesome because it didn't cost any extra. It is just. Uh, cover price. It's not a incentive or anything. They just kind of snuck them in there. Hey, look, there's the glare gone. Nice job. I'm such a freaking expert at this. So um, really excited to get that. Check your LCS. Some people might not be aware of that. That's out there. Next up, Black Hammer. This is a Scotty Young variant. I'm not a Scotty Young fan, but this doesn't look like his usual stuff. Um, any Black uh, Hammer number ones, this is the one of the shoot off, offshoot series, Age of Doom, but any number ones I can get my hands on for Black Hammer, I will grab. Um, and there is Dr. St Solar, Dr. Star and the Kingdom of Lost Tomorrows. This is the only one that I don't have. Um, I've got Quantum Age, I've got Age of Doom, um, and I've got the original series. I do not have this one so this is not only a number one this is a number one for one of the offshoot series that i do not have this i just got another one of i might give it away to a friend or something but my lord if you have not read die um this is my my pick for like book of of the whatever this is just really freaking good the artwork's amazing um stephanie hans clayton cowles on lettering and kieran gillen is the other creator um just a marvelous tale done really really well really beautiful um, great, great book there. Then I went to, uh, sorry, still at that LCS. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, the hip hop variant, number one. Found that for four bucks. I'll, I'll pick that up any day. That's usually going for like 10 or $15. So I was pretty happy to get that. Then, uh, this is a little Midtown order. Um, when I'm one of their 75% sales I've been having at the end of the year to get rid of back stock. Don't know why I got, well, I do know why I got this, but it's one of the ones I was missing from my fourth run or my fourth set of these. But between when I ordered it and this one, I found it. So I really only need 12 and 13. So that's an extra one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This was from Midtown. This is uh, Stephanie Hans cover. Totally Awesome Hulk, number 11, variant edition. This is uh, Sarah Coachelli cover to Miss Marvel number one from volume four. I've always loved this one with the arm going down to the alarm clock. Captain Marvel doll back there. Uh, Kamala with her mom, drink, or maybe sister. I think it's mom. 
not yeah, mom, because she doesn't have a sister. She has a brother. Drinking out of something, coming to the pictures, just the little details, the bandage, the forlorn look on her head, like I beat up, I'm tired, and I got to get up and go to school. Love that cover. Um, apparently, Hans did the interiors to 1602. Unless I can find them really cheap, I'm not going to get the whole series, but you can see the SH down here. She did the uh, cover to this. Love that. It's really, it's really awesome, awesome artwork. And she's just a great artist, and I really hope that she visits Emerald City Comic Con from France. Got my Batgirl number 29. I think I got 30 on order from somewhere as well. Um, and I'm missing something. I had another 1602 I got somewhere. Oh, well. Um... So I love that one. And then this next one, this is it. BAM! Finally got a hold of Miss Marvel, Volume 3, Number 1, Art Adams, 1 in 50, uh, Incentive Variant. I am just in love with this. Uh, so if you've been following my channel, you know the story. I had... Uh, uh, the black and white one in 100. I have it signed by Art Adams and G. Willow Wilson. And then uh, I've been trying to get the color one. I found somebody on Amazon selling it for like a hundred bucks. Uh, so I ordered it. It turned out it was a 9.8 of the one in 100 variant, not <laughs> the one in 50 color variant. So I got a deal on that. I sold it on JP All About Comics auction last week to Archangel. For 150, he got a really good deal on that because it's going for a lot more. But I still made money, and then I got this one. The guy had it listed at 145. I um, got it for 135. No shipping off of eBay. I'll put the eBayer in the uh, in the comments below because he's a really great eBayer. I mean, I bought this like Thursday or Friday, and I, I got it Monday, um, and it is just an immaculate copy. There's there's nothing wrong with that. I checked it both sides. It's just beautiful, beautiful book. So I am super psyched to have that. It will go up on the wall of the other Miss Marvel, as you can see right over here. Right, whoops. I'm trying to point at the screen. What an idiot. You can see right over here, the 1 in 100 version. Um, so like I said, really psyched for that. All right. That's the end of the video. I will now post it before I have to make any more. Take care.